So we finally get Super Saiyan God Goku in Dragon Ball Super. I will be honest with all of you. As I said multiple episodes ago, I said that with the extended scenes of recent Dragon Ball Super episodes, it's added more tension and it's actually been better than the movie in previous episodes, especially with, you know, Beerus' threat being built up. But this time, that entire event of Toei Animation spreading something out with patenting backfired. This episode, to be honest, is focused on two things. 10 minutes worth of Shinron being summoned and saying, Lord Beerus Sama, please excuse me. And then the second half is Goku transforming into Super Saiyan God. Yeah, th that's exactly what this episode is about. So, in terms of actual progression, the pacing has reached a level to where, like, oh my god, Toei. Like, we already know what's gonna happen. You don't have to, like, extend these scenes. Like, you, you're not following a manga. Like, seriously. I understand when it comes to, like, One Piece and stuff, because they have to extend it where they don't catch up with the manga. That's understandable. But this year, they already have material. They already have the movie. They already have a movie already out. They have the material ready. They can do whatever they want. And this is anime original to begin with. So why do they insist on slowing down the pacing when they don't really have any need to slow down the pacing? That is the question I'm wondering right now. Like, I can understand certain scenes of spreading it out and adding more information and, you know, adding more attention to it. Like, you know, with Lord Beerus in last week's episode with Vegeta and stuff. But with this, it backfires. It, it felt like they were just making this episode just to kind of waste time. And just have it to where they could end the episode off of Goku transforming. That's what this episode felt like. Their entire goal of this episode wasn't just to get quickly to, into a fight. It was just to get the episode to end on Goku transforming. That, and that's what happened. So, in terms of it, this episode... I like it in some ways, but I dislike it in others. Because I really hope Toei Animation... If they're going to do this, at the very least, extend the fighting scenes. Like, I want to see more fighting, and I want that extended. If you're going to add these scenes, especially with, you know, talking and stuff, and really just spreading out and really not having any more crucial information given to us, at the very least, do this with fights, please. I, I will look past this if you can do it for fights. But for now, I want to say, when it came to the episode besides that, I like how Videl's uh, baby, Pan, was introduced in this. Like, you know, in the movie... Dende just came in and stole the glory of it. It's like, oh yeah, she's pregnant and all that. But with the episode of Dragon Ball Super, I felt like the way it was handled was a lot better. And that's just my personal preference. I like how Videl announced it and all that, how she was pregnant with Pan. And so, the way that was done, definitely better than the movie. Now, in terms of the transformation with Goku transforming into a Super Saiyan God... Take it how you will. I mean, there's different ways you can go about this. You could say that it felt like the transformation with how, like, Goku when he was transforming and you saw how the world went through different seasons. It had, like, snow, had fucking rain, ice. I mean, it had everything. And I know some might say, like, what the fuck? Like, seriously. They, they really wanted to make it to where, like, this godly status of Goku is, like, on an entirely different level. And I guess it makes sense. I mean, Goku is going into a god form. But it just, it was very different from what I remember in the movie. And of course, like I said, this is like a retelling of the movie and they do add things. But that once again goes to show you how they were trying to extend the events before they could end it right where Goku transforms. And like the entire scene with the reaction faces, like, okay, oh my god. Like there's so many reaction faces in this episode with the characters like, <gasps> you know, just like, oh my god. <laughs> They're all shocked. Like every character had a reaction face as soon as they saw Goku transforming. Like, I mean, they were slowly panicking up the camera on Goku about to show his red hair and red eyes and I mean let's be real here I think we've all seen Super Saiyan God Goku in some way I, I even if you have never seen the movies I think majority of us can say we've probably seen either a picture maybe you played Xenoverse you've seen him in the games I mean I'm willing to bet everybody's probably seen Goku Super Saiyan God form with his red hair and maybe even blue hair and so I, I don't know how to feel about how Toei just tried to panel the camera up very slowly giving reaction faces going up again I'm like really really but yeah, I mean, besides these little issues, I felt like the episode, it was okay. Just nothing spectacular. I hope next week's episode is going to be good, though, because, I mean, we're going to have the fight between Lord Beerus and Goku, and I do hope that Toei Animation extends some of the scenes and gives some really good animation for next week's episode. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.